really thinking. You tell him your problem and he listens. Is there anything that he wants me to know? <laughs> oh, fabulous. Plus, we are so ecstatic to have her today. We will be talking to pet psychic Melissa Bassler later in the show. Yes, I'm so excited. Rather, she's actually going to be reading our dogs and answering some of our most pressing questions. And we have a yes, lot. We do have a lot. <laughs> Joe has been making questions for weeks now. <laughs> she's so excited. Are we going to have any luck losing some of the weight? You guys give on table stuff all yes, the time. Totally. Oh, guilty. Okay. <laughs> We're going full animal today because it's our pet special. I love a pet special. We obviously love our pets here at Fab Life. We give them love, we care for them, but the one frustrating thing is that we don't ever really know what they're thinking, right? Yes. Good night. <laughs> That's why we called our next guest, and we are all so excited. Here to help us uncover what's happening in our doggy's brain is pet psychic to the stars, Melissa Basilar. Welcome. Hi, thank you. We're so happy you're here. We're so I, excited, you I don't even know. Here. We're literally obsessed with what you can tell us right now. Well, you guys are all obsessed with your dogs. I could yes. tell that right away, because <laughs> each of them has their own unique vibe. Coming off them, is there anyone in particular you want me to start with? Well, Leah, I want to start I first. Leah. How okay. did you even become a pet psychic? You know, I wonder that often myself. <laughs> um, it's, I've always been really connected to animals. Even when I was a little kid, my mom said I, we would go to parties and I would be in the corner talking to the dog or the cat, not the rest of the people there. <laughs> um, and I also do animal rescue. So I've been doing that for a long time. And I, I thought it was just me being empathic and kind of connecting to these dogs and, and cats and knowing that they needed me. And as it went on, I realized, no, I can feel what they're feeling and I can feel their aches and pains and I kind of know what they're saying. And that's wow. just how it all started. Wow. What and you read, read celebrity pets as well. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> what have you done? Tell us. Um, gosh. Well, we're kind of like psychiatrists. We kind of try to keep it a secret. <laughs> I do have some of them up on my website. Um, but like Miley Cyrus's dog, mm -hmm. I've read before. Wow. Um, George Clooney's pig. Oh wow! Oh, oh. my gosh! That George was Clooney's fun. A pig? Um, yes. Yes. Interesting. Um, gosh, who else did I read? I don't know. I mean, it's that's LA. Good enough. That's, pretty that's, pretty that's pretty impressive. That's awesome. Already. All right, let's get to Hank. What do you think? Hank is immediately telling me he likes to be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. He likes to make you laugh. <laughs> he likes like. To just be the clown. Like, I feel like he's the clown. Like, he feels like he softens the mood in your home a lot. Yeah. Um, that's, like, his big thing right there. He enjoys being that part of your life. And he said he doesn't want you to feel guilty about not spending as much time with him. Oh, weird. Okay, so we just had a baby. And that was one thing that we were kind of nervous about is that he's going to feel, like, neglected. You know, I feel like you're doing a really good job of dividing your time. Yeah. And he loves, like, this right now, just, like, any special time he gets with you because he said it's, it's not as much. Like, I feel like before you were able to take them for a lot of hikes and a lot yeah. of outings and a, where now it's like Ugh, I'm gonna leave you home is that okay and it's it's okay he gets it he's really smart he's very connected with you um, and he understands that you just have a lot going on right now and he's happy he gets it he's happy. he's happy and he actually loves the baby I feel like he's so interested oh it, like just kind of like I have to protect, like, he just wants to be around. Oh, that's yeah. great. Oh, I love that. Okay, are we going to have any luck losing, losing some of the weight? He just really likes to eat, and I feel like <laughs> he gets snuck a lot of food. Like, you guys give him table stuff all yes, the time. Totally. Oh, and that's guilty. <laughs> And, he, and it's because of that. It. He Look loves at him. it. Look at that It's because of that. Like, he he knows he can get it, and he just gives you that look. Oh, yeah. And I feel like when you feel guilty because you're not spending time with them or you're with the baby, or you're like, oh, and yeah. here's some chicken. Oh, and here's some this. And it, so he knows he can get away with that, and he's going to use it to his advantage. Is there so anything that dog. Hank wants me to know? I think he just wants you to know that how much he appreciates you. Like, he doesn't want you to feel bad. Like, I feel like there's a lot of that. Like, oh, I feel so bad leaving him home. I feel so bad about... He gets it. He understands, and he just wants you to know he knows he's loved. Oh, yay. That's awesome. Right. I have to ask you a point. I've been <laughs> okay. looking for a psychic because we, my, my, my partner rescued her a few mm -hmm. years ago, and there's, so, so, there's a few behavioral things with her. Like, sometimes I can't tell if she likes me or hates me. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, she, and I don't even know what's happened in her past life. I feel like sometimes she, she sneaks off in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and to eat, and she comes back, and I feel like she's nocturnal in that way. And, you know, we've seen pictures where I just want to block out how mm. people have treated her in the past, and I don't even know how old she is. So half the time I'm trying to, like, understand what she wants, and I don't know what she wants. Okay, so... I feel like the other dog in the household mm -hmm. is definitely, like, 
she would never let you know this, but he's definitely, is it a boy? Yes. Boy? Okay, he's in control. Like, he, she, like, looks to him to be the dog. She really thinks like a person. Yes. And the other dog is the dog. Yes. So she's like, all right, what is he doing? Yeah, I don't really want to do that, but I'm going to just watch him. So she allows him to be that yes, part of your family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. So in, in her eyes, she is much more refined than that. She feels like <laughs> she's the person. She's not another dog. And she just wants her own time and her own space. And that's why she sneaks off and eats. It's like, it's like that's dog behavior. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I almost feel like she was just, I feel like she was kept in a cage and kind of ignored. Like a cage or a room, someplace small, someplace dark, like just ignored. Was she bred? I, I don't know. We don't know anything. We don't, I don't even know how old she is. Okay. Um, she was definitely, she had a lot of dental issues when we first yeah. rescued her. She's had two surgeries. So I'm seeing like kept in a cage, almost like in the dental issues. I mean, chihuahuas have dental issues anyway. Little mm -hmm. dogs have dental issues. However, I really see her like chewing on a cage out of boredom. I don't think she had anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think she ever had toys. I don't think she ever had chew sticks. I don't think she ever had blankies. So she feels like it's, it's almost like funny to her. Like, oh my God, now there's toys everywhere now there's two sticks <laughs> everywhere and like what is this you know what i mean Burberry dresses is she happy now though she's um, extremely happy but she's also a very guarded dog you know she's very much like she has to keep her cool mm -hmm. does that make sense absolutely what That's do you think what Chuck would want me to know <sighs> pork chop would want you to know she it's making me smile because it's really cute it's like She's showing me an emotion, so it's hard sometimes for me to put into words. If I could explain to you how much she loves and appreciates both of you, like, I could cry. That's how it's making me feel. Like, oh. there's so much love. Like, you saved her, and she knows that. And it's almost as if her life was so miserable before, she didn't, she couldn't even imagine that she could be loved and appreciated. She thought she was worthless. And you've oh. made her feel like she's the most important thing in the world. Oh, oh that's so sweet. I mean, I'm like, it's it's like, I mean, I'm like tearing up yeah. because that's how much love she has for you. Oh, my gosh. And I think that about her all the time. And I think we did save her. You yeah. know, it was really at the end of the road for her. And Rob found her at the very last moment when her foster mom had to give her back to the kill shelter. Oh my gosh. And he, it, it was all serendipity, so. It's true. You know and gosh, boy, you got it right on the nail. <laughs> she yeah. is, she is a lady. Well, now that Melissa has given Joe and Leah a little insight to their little doggies' minds, mm. I can't wait to see what she has to say about my dog Heisman. He's a trip. Melissa will be back in a little bit, so don't go anywhere. Okay. Talk to him all the time. Like you tell him your problems, you tell him what's going on, you talk to him about, do you like this outfit on mommy? Like I mean literally like, talk to him. I'm a single dog mother and uh <laughs>
But you give him stuff. I'm saying it's not just like, there's your dry food and you haven't eaten it for two days and you're not getting anything else. It's like, oh my God, why aren't you eating? Oh, he's not eating. He's not going to eat this. Let me get you some chicken. And you're like cutting up chicken or you're cutting up whatever you're eating. So he knows that. So yeah, the dry food's going to sit there for two days, which makes it even less appealing because gotcha. now it's like stale and out. Gotcha. But, I mean, I've even mixed gravy in with it or like yeah. salt and pepper even. <laughs> going to give in. Oh. And so, I mean, I don't even, and I feel like if you put chicken in there, like, he's smart enough that he'll pick through. He does. Yeah. He eats the chicken yes. or anything. He's he'll, pushing he's it aside there, and they'll yes. be around his bowl. He's showing me all of this because he knows that you're not going to let him starve. Like, okay. you will not let him starve. Well, I, well, we've also just recently moved. How does he feel about that? I feel like he was really nervous when everything started packing and going. Like, am I going to go? Am I going to go? Am I going to, you know, and he had these, like, flashbacks to being left, but now he loves it. Okay. Yeah. Good. He's having. That's a good thing. Well, Chrissy oh. is so sad that she couldn't be here today. Aww. And we actually have a picture of her dog, Putty. Aww. So we wanted her to get in on the action. So okay. oh here's God. Putty. I know. How cute is he? Oh. Seriously. Do you get anything about Putty that she should know? I, I, Bulldogs are one of my favorite dogs <laughs> on the planet. They are so unique and interesting. So Putty, um, <laughs> I... I he just has, he's so full of personality, this dog. Like, another dog that does not think he's a dog. He definitely thinks he's a person. <laughs> and um, I just feel like he knows she's really nervous about the baby thing, too. And he feels that. Like, he feels like she's wondering if she's going to be able to give him enough attention. Because I feel like this dog is, is spoiled. Goes everywhere with her. Oh, yeah. He's really, like, mm -hmm. her kid. I mean, this is her son. Um, and he just wants her to tell her he understands. He knows that the baby's coming. He understands that the baby's coming, and he wants her to know not to worry about it. He's going to be a good brother. Is there anything that, that Chrissy should know uh, that Putty wants her to know? Um, just not to worry so much. Have a good okay. time. Good. That's a good oh, That is a good one. Well, don't worry, Chrissy. We'll have a good time. Yes, <laughs> Chrissy will have a good time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Melissa Basilar. Now, for more info on Melissa and to learn more about dog rescue and adoptions, visit FabLifeShow.com. Now, stick around because we have more FabLife and pet special yes. coming right up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.